Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're searching the flock for a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's right, it's hidden wilderness trail bottles. Now hold on, you're like, what? Hidden wilderness trail? Have you lost your mind? No. Now, if, you, if you've watched this channel before, you know how much we love wilderness trail here. Love their rye. Love, love, love their rye. Uh, the, high, the high rye bourbon, fantastic. The weeded bourbon, fantastic. All at cast strength. So that's my caveat. Buy Wilderness Trail at the cast strength store pick level. Four years and above is fantastic. You might say, Bourbon Bill, four years is, is crap whiskey. It's not. Not from Wilderness Trail. But this isn't really about Wilderness Trail. It's If you know Wilderness Trail uses a low barrel entry proof, uh, sweet mash process, similar to Peerless. Um, but you say, let's say, well, I just wish it was a little bit older and a little bit higher proof. Wait no more. Dun, dun, dun. Enter Luca Mariano. That's a spicy bourbon, as they say in Italy. Uh, this is a non-distilling producer at the moment with Italian heritage. Luca Mariano, as they say. Uh, this is a single barrel select right here from our bourbon. So, so good job, Jay, on picking these. If you're not part of the Reddit bourbon, the R bourbon sub, and you're into bourbon, uh, this is your wake up call to sign up. Uh, this is a again Luca Mariano, which when I saw this, I'm like, what the hell? Not interested, right? Except, except this is a seven year and seven month bourbon sourced from Wilderness Trail at 123.8 proof compute compute 61.9 percent alcohol by volume we just pause there for effect this is a seven year and seven month Wilderness Trail bourbon at 124 proof, minus 0.2% proof. Where have you seen that before? You haven't. You haven't. Okay, not that I get to all kinds of different states, but I've seen some six-year wilderness trails floating around. Wilderness Trail released an eight-year bourbon at like 100 proof. Like, come on, I want that, I want that at cast strength. So. Wilderness Trail had eight year last year. This year, I expect that some of their single barrel store picks will be in the seven to eight year range um, at, at barrel proof for them. So it doesn't say what, you know, what yeast strain this is or anything like that, but this is Wilderness Trail source juice at a high age and high proof that you don't normally see. So stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, nothing else. This bottle, by the way, is fantastic. Like grooves down here. This is bottle number 164 of 168. Which kind of tracks. Winter Show usually gets 200 and some bottles out of a barrel, but they're usually four or five years old. This one being much older, they're getting less. Uh, a nice big cork with the, with the embossing here that says, it's hard to, hard to read this, it says, Francesca. S. Viola, I believe. Obviously Italian, not, not sure. That's also here on the corky. And not on the top. So, I believe uh, Luca Mariano is also, uh, has laid down some of their own barrels. They're just not, you know, they're not ready yet. And that's fine, that's fine. We, we don't want young, cheap crap bourbon out there. So if you're sourcing for water in this trail, you're doing something right. All right, so that's in this blind tonight. But I had to compare it to my Wilderness Trail High Rye Bourbon Store Pick from Fairgrounds Discount Liquors in Maryland. 
uh, getting mighty low. I don't know if you can see that in here. This is delicious, by the way. This one comes in at 112 proof. Compute, compute, 56% alcohol by volume. So 12 proof points shy of that one. And this one is four years and eight months. So, uh, you know, it's younger. It's younger. Um, this one is, uh, you know, number four char, Firm Pro 1. So, I love this bottle. It's been in some other uh, other videos I've done. This was like 56 doll hairs. Okay, good price. The Luca Mariano, $59.99 a bottle. So it's not even more expensive, and it's a non-distilling producer. Now, my wife poured these blind. I don't know which is which. We'll just start with the first one here. Color's nice, not as not as dark as we'd like to see from a barrel string. Oh God! Oh, is that that seasoned oak? Just the best baked bread you've ever smelled out of the oven, with no youth notes, no grass, no hay. I'm looking at you, some other NDPs. This smells like like this bottle here. I'm not gonna lie. Let's take a sip. Fantastic. Muy delicioso. Um, tons of baking spices, caramel. That delicious break, baked bread note. I believe this is actually the four four year eight month wilderness trail. Fantastic. A plus. A plus rating on Bourbon Bill. Feels about 112 proofish. Very good. Now the second one, I'm just going to compare here, is a tad darker. I'm going to guess this is the Luca Mariano. Similar but uh, not the same. This is sweeter on the nose. I get the same just baking spices. A little bit, little bit like pipe tobacco I got in that one. I get in this one as well. And I get just like some, man, just like some creamy vanilla notes flowing off of this one. Mmm. And you know, the old baked goods there. Just not, it's not the star of the show anymore. Let's take a sip. Oh my god. Heaven help me that's good. Whoo. Wow. Does taste similar. Um, but not wow. I mean long finish on this. Um, it is uh, sweeter than the Wilderness Trail. Uh, just the flavor profile is just you know, boom just amped up a notch. It is delicious. Uh, it's sweeter. Got a little bit of honey on it. Still has that that baked note, but it's got more more tobacco, more vanilla, and far creamier on the mouth feel. If this is the direction, well, wait. If this is the Luca, let me read it. What was the second the second glut? It was the Luca. All right, so I was right. The first one was the four year eight month. The second one was the Luca. If this is the direction Wilderness Trail is heading, job well done gentlemen uh that is fantastic and at, at a bargain if you see these for 59.99 if you see a store pick of these and you know and you turn the back here and it says seven plus years old you buy it now that's that's not all so thank you james i poured this up this is a luca mariano single barrel select store pick six year at 110.8 proof Thank you again, James. I poured this up to compare. Because, you know, that's not all. It's kind of the epitome of this channel. You think a six year? Okay, a little bit younger than, than you know, our, our over seven and a half here. Lighter in proof at 110.8. Let's see if it's similar. Nope, not at all. This, uh, this smells youthy. Let's take a sip. Easily the worst out of all three. Right there. Um, it's got the sweetness, but it just, it's got like a youthy, like cardboard. 
It's not the same. Uh, this this seven years seven is way better. Buy your Luca Mariano at high proof and high age. Um, this kind of furthers my point. I believe their only source is Wilderness Trail. So, this furthers my point that I don't think Wilderness Trail is bottling the Luca Mariano stuff, or I'm sorry, barreling the Luca Mariano stuff, or what they're selling off at the low entry proof, you know, sweet mash. I don't think so. I think they're bottling that at 125 proof. I think they are, you know, using not necessarily sweet mash. Probably a different yeast strain. This 7.7 .7 year was, was um, you know, basically tied our four year, eight month here. And the six year was a, was a far, far third. Not even close. Um, so there you have it. I don't know what, what we quite determined tonight. I think we determined that if you see Luca Mariano, know it comes from Wilderness Trail. Know that you should ask for it in a high proof and high age, seven plus years. And also know that if you see a Wilderness Trail that is six years or greater at cash strength, it is an absolute immediate buy. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, Hit that subscribe button, everybody. Have a good evening.